How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. All right, so this is one of my buddies from Colorado. It's actually my first friend from Colorado to come visit the place. And uh, he's actually got a pretty cool build for his uh, Nomad rig. So well, let's go through it here. It's, uh, it's you said it's a Sienna? Yeah, it's a 2012 Toyota Sienna. Mm -hmm. And it's super stealth. He, well, one thing I, I like about this is Josh built this to where the covers on the side here, those are what, Reflectix wrapped in black? Yeah, when I, when I open the door, you know, I take it out. You can actually see in. I did have the front windows tinted a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yep, a little bit. But it's nice because it literally looks like like I, I, I was I was commenting how when when I came out here and I was walking along this side, it's like I'm walking along here. And it just looks like a normal van. It looks like it's got a really good tint on it. And then you come in the back here and it's like boom, you got your camper, the entire camper setup, which is really nice yeah yeah it's a convertible bed it turns into a bench and i can turn it uh, make it into a desk also cool um and we'll, we'll show that in a little bit but yeah it's super stealth i've been all over the country i'm on an eight week i'm doing an eight week trip right now mm -hmm. uh, i started in miami beach in january and uh i got the knock one time but that's because i was being dumb and i parked in a small church parking lot in the middle of louisiana <laughs> and uh there was nobody around and the sheriff just told me where to go. It was no big deal. That's cool. It wasn't even late at night. But other than that, I've, I've been able to camp in uh, on Main Street, Palm Beach, uh, next to lighthouses. I've been able to camp in some of the craziest areas and nobody knows I'm in there. That's awesome, man. Yeah, neighborhoods is great. You see cars parked on the side of the road, I just pull up behind them and, mm -hmm. and uh, crawl in the back and throw my blackout up. And nobody knows I'm there all night long. Someone's coming behind you here. Oh, what's up, girl? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, sweetie? Come here. Come here. You want to help us out? She's showing off for you. Yeah, she is. So uh, let's go through your walkthrough here and, and, and explain to us that this is obviously the sleep mode, but explain to us what you did and how you how you didn't make any modifications to the actual vehicle itself. Yeah, nothing. There's no screw in the side of the, in the, side of the plastic. I didn't remove any carpeting. All I removed was... Uh, all I removed was the the seats that were in it. Um, I formed all the all the um, panels, all the shelving to work around around the curvatures, so that if it shimmies and shakes, nothing's rubbing and, and making a hole or anything like that. Okay. So um, so is this is this secured down to like a base foundation? Is that how yeah? You it? Okay. Well, let me show you the uh, the Sienna has the fold away seats. So, so those are the ones that store down in the in like the floor, right? Right. And so on the platform, you can see that it, it actually drops down. Oh yeah, it goes way down there. Yeah, it goes way down there. And I have all kinds of storage. I think it goes down by like a foot. Oh, if not more. That's that's really awesome. That's, that's, that's a ton of storage, wow. Yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's a substantial amount. Jeez, dude, that goes way that. That's like a spare tire area. Yeah, definitely. Wow, okay, that, 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 that helps. I was wondering like, how are you rolling so minimal? I mean, do you have nothing with you and this makes sense <laughs> well I, I keep everything that i'm not going to use often under here so i really don't get underneath here very often yeah I even it's nice a, so it's, it's out of the way but then when you need it you can access exactly. it. exactly I, I have an electric fryer under there too that i can use oh, nice. if i don't want to get the camp stove going mm -hmm. um so yeah this like this panel here it goes down below the rest of the floor. Mm -hmm. So if I stop real hard, this isn't going anywhere. Okay. That's and, cool. Oh, I think my plate <laughs> Except your plate up there. Except my plate that was on the countertop. And then these are nice because you've got these, you said these, you got these from like Walmart or something like that for, for no, pretty cheap? I, I, yeah. The mattress is an old mattress. It's a mattress I got on Amazon probably six years ago. Mm -hmm. It was a queen size. Um, I cut it to fit. And then I ordered these covers uh online it was only fifty dollars for four covers and they're like a universal fit cover mm -hmm. um i just had to get the the medium or large or whatever it was for the dimensions of every every cushion now every cushion is also the same size in the bed so they don't wear out as easy because i can take that's really comfortable man. this one and move it here and and, and yeah it makes go them back match and them. forth that's really comfy yeah that's nice, man. Dude, it's really cozy in here too. When you have all the uh, windows sealed up with uh, all the covers. We're in full sun right now and the whole hatch is open and it's not even very dark or bright in there. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, you park in the shade and put those up, you can sleep into like noon. And, and I've done that <laughs> when I'm driving for a long time. Mm -hmm. I come into a rest area, 
middle of the day, I'll throw those up and I take a long nap. That's nice. The nice thing too about the Reflectix, I, I, it's a plastic, here you can see it behind you. Mm -hmm. Right here too? Yeah, right there, right above you. Mm -hmm. So this one, I'll show you. If it's, so right now it's in stealth mode because it's got the black side out. Mm -hmm. But when it's a really hot day and I don't really need to be in stealth mode, I can flip it over and, it, yeah, and, and put that thing. on the outside. And believe it or not, that actually keeps the car much cooler. Oh yeah, I bet it will. Well, and this would also attract the heat in the wintertime, which is nice. And so like as it's, soon as as soon as it hits warm. sun, you know, you're 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 warming up. Yep. Is it the other one? Yeah. I need to get the new. There we go. That's cool. Cool, man. And so with your storage here, is this just like your everyday everyday items? Everyday items and and it's funny. I've been on road road now eight weeks and I could go and I could eliminate probably 30% of what I have because yeah. I have too much. Mm -hmm. I, I'm wearing just the same amount of pants, you know, three pairs of pants the whole time, the same four t-shirts, yeah. the same two long sleeve and same jacket and same, same sweatshirt. Instead, I've got enough here for an army Yeah, and I wish I didn't. Well, and, and, and that's what we were talking about last night. It's like this lifestyle makes you a minimalist and, and, and you want to be it because you don't want to carry all this stuff. You realize how much of a burden it is. That's the worst. That's the, the best thing about it. But I and I thought this was going to be a great idea. You know, I thought it was going to be a great idea. These are cheap little bags and I could haul them in, you know, store my clothes in them. They're soft. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if I was to do it again, like I said, I'd probably have half as many bags, half as many clothes with me. Mm -hmm. And that, the lifestyle, like you said, just makes you appreciate the little things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I never take hot showers for granted anymore. Right. Showers everywhere. Man, I love all the room that you have in here. And even with your fridge sitting right here, you still have plenty of room to get in and get out and function and all that stuff. And so you've got over here, this kind of looks like your toiletry area. You've got some stuff for like, you know. Kitchen. Yeah. Um, got some vitamins, you know. That's another area that could be organized too. I have stuff in there I haven't even touched on in eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my junk drawer area. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. And Nobody has to have one of those. Yeah, I got the back of the seat. The the, the back of the seat. That's my junk drawer too. Mm -hmm. um, and so you have this set up to where you were saying in the daytime you can turn this into a bench. Yeah, we'll show that in a little bit. Okay. And I'll take the. Uh, oh, we've got. But uh. Like yeah. you have like a little workspace there. Let me show you this real quick, this table. Oh, I have a battery operated fan. I charge, it's rechargeable. Mm -hmm. And that's nice to have all night long. Yeah. You know, gotta have that airflow. I cut these Reflectix just a little lower so that I can open and crack the window. But that's why I have the wind, the wind guard. Oh, yep, right on there. the window. Mm -hmm. And that hides that, uh, that gap. Very cool. Now, just a, a full disclaimer: I'm not the, I'm not the original designer of this for a Sienna. There's another YouTuber named, uh, uh, what's his name? Eric enjoys Earth. He's a Canadian, and uh, very meticulous. And he's the one who showed most of this build. He put door fronts on it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, that's where I got this idea. Cool. I like that stealth ability. Yeah, for sure. One, well, and it lends well to what you're doing with this, like traveling across country, and it's like. Yeah, you said you want to drive about four or five hours a day and then just kind of find a place to relax and kick it. Yeah. And this gives you the most flexibility. There's no rush to get anywhere, and that's such the greatest way to enjoy life. Yeah. You know, I agree I'm not that. rushed at all. Yeah, it's like when I'm driving, I actually enjoy driving, you know, as opposed to like rushing to get somewhere and try to, yeah. you know, all that stuff. So this is a quick little, this also acts as my desk inside the van. But if I park somewhere and there's no table and I want to set up, I have a little camp stove I use. I can go ahead and, and it just latches right in and sets on the floor. Very nice, man. Then I make my dinner. That's put plenty, my camp stove uh, chair right, there. right here. Yeah, that's plenty big. Plenty big, and I've got the automatic awning. That's really nice, man. With the door, yeah. Yeah, and you can even put your Reflectix up here if the sun's really baking down and make it 100%, you know, or you can keep it open like this and it looks like you got a little skylight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? So that's really nice. Yeah, I've actually sat back here when it's raining out. Yeah, I'll bet. It's been nice. 
And then, you know, with, with all, like the bug netting and stuff like that, you could just throw it around here and then you're pretty much. I could. You're pretty much um, set. I've, I, I invested in the thermocell uh mosquito repellent thing and that's kept the bugs away you know I'll, even you're not supposed to sleep with it in in confined spaces mm -hmm. but i found if i turn it on let it warm up 10 minutes inside while i'm getting ready and then up for bed and then i turn it off it keeps all the bugs out yeah i mm -hmm. highly and you know come around this side i can get to the back side of those uh, shells Oh yeah, you so, get, they're accessible on both sides. So easy access, yeah. And here's that thermocell I was talking about too. You know, and nice. it's it runs off of butane. No, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, it, I gotta get that. I gotta get that one. The one that I have is okay. It's the backpacking one, but it's it's not as good. Yeah. It's not as, it's not as reliable. I wish I had the backpacking one once in a while when I go hiking. Mm -hmm. But this one's nice to put around the campsite and let it uh, let it keep the bugs away. Cool. And I got a hundred power, hundred watt uh, energy. Up, up top most people don't even know it's a solar panel driving down the street so that's nice mm -hmm. um, i'd say that's the that, that's the only thing to where if somebody knew what they're looking for they could say okay this person's doing right. some traveling and then Other, otherwise it doesn't look anything like that i mean it's 100 percent stealth especially with the side window uh covers exactly you know exactly and and you know you could even think well maybe it just has a small office in there mm -hmm. you know oh, or, or, or maybe it's put, put uh, no, a small fridge because he likes ice cream yeah yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> which and is true the, the 100 watt panel has been great for my 1500 watt hour uh, battery pack mm -hmm. which is stored in the footwell of the passenger side okay um yeah, yeah and, then you got, and then you got like another you got some books and stuff up there and just some quick grab items another junk drawer Another joint drawer. <laughs> but you know what? Even though with all the, like these, the joint drawers and all that stuff, it's not cluttered. But you, you, yeah, and you learn where your stuff is too real fast, mm -hmm. maybe, just like anywhere else. Yeah, this is nice, dude. You, I mean, you can easily, you don't have to like, you don't. I mean, there might be a little bit of breakdown involved, but you don't have to break down very much in order to take off. Not only that, I can, you know, there's been majority of my nights if I'm city camping, I never step foot out of the vehicle. I crawl from the driver's seat right into the back, mm -hmm. um, make the bed up, and then I uh, I go to sleep for the night. That's awesome. I get man. up in the morning and I go right right back to the driver's seat. Yeah, that's so nice. And then I usually go about a couple miles down the road or the local uh, restaurant or local uh, gym I belong to, mm -hmm. and uh, put the bed back up to desk mode and take my time there. Right on, man. So let me go ahead and put the bed in a okay. bed mode or uh, bench mode. This shows how cozy it is in here. Oh, it is. It really is. I can do this all with the doors closed. I don't do that in normal areas. Looking good. Dude, you can fully sit up in here. Fully sit up. I put a panel here so it keeps the it keeps the cushions on mm -hmm. and won't be sliding around when I hit the brakes. That's a good idea. Or when you're gangster leaning in here. That's right. So it's a good place to chill. You know, sit here, read a book, mm -hmm. work on a laptop. Got a nice fresh air here with the view if you park it right. Yeah, and these side windows do open. So it's nice for, you need that cross ventilation. Yes. That's one thing I tell people. I'm like, don't get it. Cause a lot of people will, will, will think about getting a topper that doesn't have any windows. And I'm like, no, no, no. They're like, I want it for stealth. I'm like, no, no, you need the airflow. You need the airflow. In a space that's small, it really matters. It really matters. You'll get the condensation that builds up on your windshield. Mm -hmm. People know somebody's in there. Yeah. Well, a smart person knows. Right. I only keep the windows closed in the last eight weeks for probably two nights. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel safe about it. Um, just because I didn't want carbon monoxide buildup or anything like that. Yeah. But I did it because it was just extreme cold one night. Now, is this the same table that you used in the back? Same table from the back. You can come in here. Come, well, come on in. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, look at there. Oh, look at you. Oh, you want to hang out with the fellas, don't you? <laughs> look at you, girl. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> She's like, oh, I just came in here to say hello to everybody. What are you doing, little sweetie? She's gonna do a little spin and sit down. All right, so cool. So yeah, you, get, you sit fully up. You got a full desk. It's a good view from outside if you wanna. Yep, that's yeah. awesome, dude. 
Yeah. What, what, so this whole build that you have here, you know, you put it all together and you didn't have to modify the truck, which is, or right. the uh, van, which is great. So if you, if you ever want to sell your van, you just take this out, put the stuff back in and you're, you're Clean good. Clean the carpets. One thing I didn't do is I didn't do a hardwood floor. Um, I didn't take out the trolleys mm -hmm. for the movable seats back here. I didn't want to go through that. Take those out. They're really hard to get back in. Yeah. So yeah, I could carpet clean, put the seats back in. And with today's market, probably sell the van for more than I paid for it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it, what? Isn't, it is an all-wheel drive van, too. So I can get a lot of places normal cars can't. Cool. What What do you have invested in, in, in just the build itself? Sure. Um, the most expensive piece, single piece of the build itself, uh, not including electronics or fridge right now, is this table. Okay. This Ikea table, 100 bucks. The leg on it. $30. I got that at a camping store or camping RV store. Uh, same way with the track that the table hooks into. Mm -hmm. So I can move that table front yeah, and back and work. Um, that was probably $20. Three sheets of plywood for the entire build. Um, that's $150 nowadays. Six two by threes for the bed. Uh, miscellaneous, probably another $20 in that. That's about it. So, oh, the mattress, if you were to buy this, now you get the same mattress on Amazon for about 100, 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Oh, sorry, sweetie. There you go, girl. And $30 on the on the covers. So total, you or think- $50 on the covers. Total, you think, what, 300? Yeah, 300 bucks. That's awesome. 300 man. bucks. And then you get into the electrical components, which the so. fridge is an Iceco uh, 42, 42 liter quart mm -hmm. and it was it's perfect for uh, a single person and that was 500 bucks okay. and then of course the solar battery was that's the largest investment and I went with a uh, good recommendation from Brian to go ahead and get the larger one than worrying about a 250 500 or a thousand kilowatt hour got that 1500 I think Brian uses the same one quite often mm -hmm. and um, it's been perfect I've got AC power DC power I run an electric blanket if I need to. Um, I run the fan, charged, uh, charging all night long. You know, it's it's been the best battery. So yeah, the whole build, excluding the cost of the van, under two thousand. Nice man. Yep, We're under two thousand. Right on, brother. Okay. Oh, little girl, look at you. You're hanging out with the fellas. There we go. <laughs> Just like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? <laughs> so, you know, you've been on the road now for, what, eight weeks? Eight weeks uh, on the actual road since November 1st. So that's been about six, 16 weeks. Cool, man. A couple weeks back in Colorado for Christmas. Nice. Flew back. Yeah. yeah. Being on the road like this, obviously, it's a different experience than, you know, what we were used to in the previous corporate lives that we both yeah, had. Yeah, no kidding. And so with this um, newfound freedom and also, too, like being on the road and having a different schedule and being on the, the rhythm of the sun and the moon as opposed to the alarm clock. Mm -hmm. Like, what have you noticed that's different in perspectives about being out here as opposed to kind of the mindset before? The easiest way I could probably put it is, and what, you know, we've talked about it and I've thought about it a lot, is happiness is not keeping up with the Joneses. Happiness does not come from your material things. And it's so hard, even being on the road once in a while, it's like, oh, I gotta go shopping, I gotta get that itch. You know, and then you you take a deep breath and you put it off for a day, and you think, well, I didn't really need to need that at all. Why did I think that? So we're so brainwashed into materialism. Mm -hmm. And um, before I started the journey, I got on a minimalism kind of kick with with different YouTube videos and some books I read, and that really set my perspective. But it's amazing how ingrained in our brain it still is. But um, Happiness definitely is not shopping, you know, and not rushing around. It's a uh, human, you know, we're human beings. Uh, we're not human doings, you know, and everybody treats their life as they're always doing something and it's okay to just be. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's pretty much in a nutshell. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming to hang out. Yeah, no problem. You have a great place here. This ranch is awesome. Well, you're welcome anytime. All right. Thank you. Cool, brother.
Touch from the wall.